Hey everyone, this is Chris again with another video for you. So today I want to kind of do a follow-up video touching base on the last one I just did regarding getting the Pixel experience onto your Nextbit Robin or pretty much any Android device. Um, so this actually happened after I basically created the video and was restoring um, my backup ROM that I had on my device. So if you remember in the video, um, I ran into issues with um, flashing the ROM um, and exposed framework not working properly. So, and in the video, I restored the ROM that I had backed up just fine. Now, this issue, I wanted to do a video on how to get past a lock screen security whether it be fingerprint or a four digit pin on your device so you need to be running twrp recovery for this to work i actually don't have my robin right now this is a moto g um, 2015 edition so um, let me just wipe the screen off real quick so basically what happened was i restored my rom that i had backed up onto my device okay and I entered my PIN and it said it was wrong. Um, the fingerprint scanner, it sensed my fingerprint, but since it was the first time boot up, it requires a PIN um, or whatever security alternative that you use. So try to enter my PIN. It wasn't, I know it was correct because I just um, restored that backup earlier um, that afternoon. So let me just show you, I do have a PIN. I'm just gonna do zero or all ones which is wrong, okay? All right. So again, boom, wrong pen. So let me go ahead and reboot into the TWRP recovery here real quick, okay? And by the way, um, this Moto G is running um, Android Nougat 7.0 or 7.1 um, Beanstalk ROM, okay? Um, so this is going to be the first time me actually testing this on a NuGet device or a NuGet ROM, I should say. We're going to go ahead and just let that um, boot. Okay. And so what we're going to want to do is actually this is all you're really needing is TWRP. You don't need any other files to flash. Um, just in case if let's say you're not around on a computer anything like that um, to download because sometimes there may be some um, walkthroughs that you can download file but all you need to do is go to advanced file manager okay and then what you need to do is go to data not sure if you can actually see this here okay after you go into data you're gonna need to go into the the system folder here, okay? And after you're in the system folder, you're gonna to need to delete actually a couple of files um, that are in this uh, extension, okay? One, or the first couple of files you need to delete are the ones that have the dot .key um, extension on it, okay? So gatekeeper password, gatekeeper pattern key. So this basically, we need to delete both of those, okay? And then go ahead and long press, delete, okay, back. And then the other two files or a couple other files you need to delete are ones that um, refer to lock settings, okay, these lock setting files. So there's going to be three. So on my next bit, it actually only had a total of four files, um, both the dot .key and then there is two. This one has uh, three. So we're going to go ahead and just delete these three. This is all you need to do. And this is going to be proof right here. So no other dot keys, no other lock setting files since it's alphabetical order. Perfect. So now what we can go ahead and just do is reboot our system. All right, 
we're just gonna wait for that to boot up. And once that boots up, we should be able to get into the phone without needing to enter a pen code. So again, I like this method, it's easy. That way if you're not around near a computer for you to um, upload any files to your device, you can just do this method. These pretty much almost a two-step process. Boot into recovery, delete those files. Um, so it says unlock for all features and data. Boom, done. Again, there's no there's no security now. So now if we just go into settings, um, I know my next bit actually kept and remembered my fingerprints, um, but it deleted out the the need for the pen code. We go into security. And you can see swipe. There, so there's no uh, password needed on there. So again, easy process. I'll put the um, the file names in the description real quick, just so you that way in case um, you just need something to read, that'll be easier for you all. If you have any questions, comments, leave that down below. And appreciate if you guys like and subscribe to this channel and also share it with your friends. Check out my previous videos if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one.